guys welcome to my channel it's Jade here and I hope you all are doing well this is going to be another restaurant review video and the restaurant I'm going to be reviewing this time is called Joey's now see if you're someone that lives in Canada already you probably know that this is supposed to be a popular restaurant but me that I'm new okay I'm gonna give you a review for my own experience I've only seen it in Ottawa so I'm gonna give you my experience going to the joey restaurants in ottawa now i don't know if they have different branches in ottawa but the one i visited was at rideau and yeah i enjoyed myself before i even go to the, to the review proper i have to tell you that i enjoyed myself hey guys <laughs> so the first time we went to rideau i went with a friend but this time i'm going with chris because i really feel like I want him to see and experience what it's like. That's a riddle. Sorry, Joey's. <laughs> I really want um, him to see what it's like because I really enjoyed their food the last time. So today I am bringing Chris along. I'm going to find out if he shares the sentiment of. Is this thing is rubbish. It's ah! not rubbish. Okay, well, at least the burger I had was really good. <laughs> but anyway, we'll carry on along. Fine boy. Enjoyment minister. That's your mommy. <laughs> what do you mean by that? So, what do you want to order? Ah, please, please do. <laughs> please. Let me go ahead and start with the ambience. Um, for the ambience, honestly speaking, the place is nice. It gives modern vibes. However, you guys, I feel like they can do a lot more with the decor i have seen places that are much cuter much more creative also it's very dimly lit like the two times i went there i went in the early hours of the day and the, that place is not well lit <laughs> i feel like they depend a lot on natural lighting and i don't know if they're trying to give a vibe of you know you know how there's vibe now for all these restaurants where it's be dark and dim and all of that at the same time i yeah i feel like during the day people should be able to see road <laughs> so because of this i'm going to be giving them a 6.5 over 10 for ambience just because i feel like they can do a lot more than what is currently there it's pretty standard like it's there's no there's really nothing negative about it but i just feel like there's room for so much more there's room for so much more in a place like that maybe they can follow a theme or i don't know just add some creativity to it anyway so let's talk about the service you guys i'm actually having issues with trying to understand how i'm going to be you know um evaluating services in canadian restaurants and the reason for this is in Canada, see this is even a, a hot topic i think i'm going to make a video of this thing as a hot topic because they tip here there's tipping culture and it just makes me feel like okay how am i supposed to objectively evaluate your service if you are doing everything you're doing because you're hoping for a tip and yeah i don't know i don't know it's a very different experience for me um having to tip because i feel like the fact that i have to pay you separately for the the service so to speak it kind of takes away from what i consider to be good service i don't know so i'm really battling that one but i'm just gonna explain it you know i'm just gonna rate it without thinking too much about how i feel about their tipping culture just to maintain at least some level of consistency across my videos when i'm evaluating service but yeah that tipping thing is is, is really causing issues <laughs> on how i think about service as a whole anyway for this restaurant the service was okay i actually visited this place two times by the way and the first time i went the service was okay second time i went it was just i don't even know whether to call it average it was just there like they brought the food it came on time they attended everything we needed there was no particular you know enthusiasm in the service it was just yeah they just did what they needed to do so because of that i'm going to be giving them a 15 over 20. they did what they needed to do 
you know food came out on time was there anything over the top not really so they're getting a 15 over 20. now let's talk about the price i know the last time i made a video was it the last one or the last two videos i made i told you guys that i was kind of confused about what the pricing system is like here i think this was my very first video um restaurant review video of earl's and yeah i'll link it somewhere if you guys haven't seen that and i think right now i am beginning to get a good understanding of what prices should be like in restaurants because i think i've been to quite a few and i think in my first month of being in canada i am beginning to understand what the price points of things are and whether they are reasonable expensive or you know that kind of stuff so i think that you would have best appreciation for how i would rate this now and for this restaurant honestly the price is okay it's okay for what you get and the portions i think it's okay so they're going to be getting a 15 over 20 because me i'm always somebody that is an advocate for less less cost <laughs> but at the same time the prices weren't were, were bad uh, it's not like oh my god such a steal but at the same time it's not bad so they're getting a 15 over 20. now for the taste guys which is the most important thing as i always tell you guys i don't know if i'm in a position to give a good evaluation of the taste because i've only eaten one thing day only one thing but honestly me that one thing that i ate i ate it on the two occasions that i went there and it was fantastic i had a burger a basic classic burger and sweet potato fries you guys it was yum it was yum it was really really good i recommend it if you guys are ever in ottawa or canada because I, I i believe they have like you know um other restaurants if you guys are ever in the area and you're looking for somewhere to get a fantastic burger go to joey's go to joey's anyway their total score overall is going to be 8.45 over 10. it's pretty good i do recommend it you can go there have fun with your friends the only downside i think in this, in in the area of taste is that i did not really enjoy their mojito although it was a virgin mojito it was too the lime was too much the lime was too much <laughs> i would say that's the only downside but apart from that i think they have really really good food and um oh something i forgot to mention they actually give you guys um complimentary champagne when you walk in which i think is the bomb.com i'm sorry even all the expensive restaurants i've been to in this life there is no place i have been to see you can call me a local lights or whatever you want to call me i've not been to any restaurants where they give you complimentary champagne when you walk in in my 29 years or 30 years of being on this planet i have never been to a place where they give you complimentary champagne in a restaurant i'm not talking about event or restaurants that you're going to pay for food i've not been to anywhere where they give you complimentary champagne and that is very very good in fact i love the brand of champagne that they served and i am going to be purchasing some for myself later <laughs> anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please like share and subscribe you can also follow me on my social if you want to hear from me more regularly thanks for watching bye